Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well today. So I know I obviously don't really make Faye videos on this channel and I never plan to make this channel about Faye, but because it's to do with Engage and it's the first Engage banner and there's just so much amazing art and it's really nice to see 2D art of the Engage characters where we'll predominantly be getting 3D uh, art and models and whatnot uh, in Engage. So I'm going to go over the engage new units so there's four on the banner and then there's also two other units that are not on the banner that we'll see and there is a pre-order bonus for having engage in Fey, which is kind of awful <laughs> but the bonus in engage for having Fey is actually all right then i'll just have a quick look at the few posts from twitter today because there's a bit of engage info and there was quite a few that i couldn't really put an image as well on a community post so i'll just run through that at the end all right let's get on with the banner okay so the rearmed hero as you're about to see is Alfred and yeah the art looks great I love it bang on exactly what I'd expect amazingly huge muscles around here I need to learn more secrets <laughs> and if you didn't hear him say that he's very excited to see the heroes with big muscles so he's gonna be a big fan of dagger and note clearly all right oh and I won't go too much into detail on the how good the skills are and whatnot you can find better places for that, like PM1 and whatnot. Um, so I'll just say that this is an arcane weapon, so it's inheritable once for free and basically to any unit that can wield a lance. And so that's super strong. You want to give that to your lance units. His self-improver skill is nutty. 20 defense. Crazy. Um, and special cooldown charges on opponents. So yeah, nuts. And flow trace is just a nice new uh, trace skill. Yeah, we're mainly here to look at the art. So. Yeah, look, cute. Wither and Fall is quite a nice quote. I like the petals. Very fear and AE. Here are the other heroes from the banner. A riot of flowers in bloom. Okay, so Celine looks adorable. And what is also funny is that we're seeing all the voice actors um, here where we haven't really heard any news about them otherwise. So you can see for Alfred that his voice actor is Nick Wolfhard and Celine's is. Um... Oh, let's have a look at that art. Cute. Again, it's funny how it says Joyous Royal and she's just pouting. Um. But yeah, Rochelle he Hedger. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. So funnily enough, all the units on this banner are voiced by actors that have already previously voiced in Faye, apart from Alfred's, Nick Wolfhard. And Rochelle Hedger has, or Hedger, or however I'm saying it, I'm not sure, has voiced Leanne in Fire Emblem before. And I'll explain who the other voice actors voiced previously too but yeah i love saline's art she looks super cute um translated really well from engage into here yeah can't can't really complain looks bang on exactly what i'd expect How delightful. <laughs> i love her little face in the top oh yeah so she's got a tome that's kind of uh it's got healing effect uh and bonuses if you have allies near you and whatnot um, so she'll be pretty strong. Uh, again, I'm not going to go too hard into the actual details of the units. And Canto Control is really useful fodder for those of you who care about that. You need pruning. Adorable. You need pr Look at that. <laughs> she looks hilarious. Like, angry, but very composed. So yeah, bang on. Like it. Adorable art. Pruning. And quite a nice animation. Okay, Chloe, I'm not gonna lie, I love her art. It looks great. Gecko, deep fried snake, or oh 
Sautéed fish eyeballs. Okay, so <laughs> clearly she has some kind of obsession with strange foods. Um, just Ingrid, but clearly even more in the food direction. But yeah, her art looks lovely. She looks super nice. Again, very well translated from Engage. Right, so hers is really cute and is related to, as in her weapon, is really um, nicely related to her in Engage. Um, her fairy tale folk thing and her whole thing about liking, uh, you know, little stories and whatnot. So if there are two allies um, who are supported together within, uh, oh, I think it's just on the team, yeah. So if there are two allies uh, on your team who have a support uh, together, then she gets bonuses and whatnot. Um, some pretty good ones too. That's very similar to her fairy tale folk ability in Engage, where she needs a male and female ally near her to trigger that. And then yeah, Pegasus Flight 4 is nice to see because I really like that skill and it's good to have an upgrade on it. A happy ending. <laughs> exactly what I'd expect. Okay, so here's female Alea. So no male Alea, by the way. Nada. And he's not a pre-order bonus too, but I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, so yeah, here's female Alea. Again, kind of what I'd expect from the art. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Oh, sorry, I didn't go over Chloe's voice actor. So Chloe is voiced by uh, Elizabeth Simmons. Um, and she voiced Larum and Mamori as well in Faye. Um, so yeah, she's coming back to do Chloe. And Alir's voice actor is Laura Stoll. I think people may have mentioned this previously that they knew, but in any case, um, she is also voice acted in Faye and on Tanya. So yeah, she's come back again too. You're looking awful lot like certain emblems I know. I can't wait to talk to them. Oh yeah, so she's recognizing basically that there are uh, you know, the emblems that she's met in Elios that are in her uh, Faye. I've got this. It's weird, they're kind of the first characters that know of characters from the other games. So she sees Liberation, her or Liberation, however you want to say it, um her weapon, and Close Call 4, which is nice too. Um and yeah, it's to do with having units from different titles, so that's a nice like little crossover from Engage. Uh, obviously it makes sense so I like that mechanic it makes a lot of sense for her pretty cool and close cool is also pretty cool nice to have an upgrade on that she gets a lot of damage reduction and things like that and just buffs in general and lots of speed I like that voice line I am the divine dragon yep and there we go cool kind of a lame <laughs> quote but uh, I like her a lot she looks cool Nice, yeah, all this art. It makes sense that they did Fear and A first, kind of. And that's the new Fey OC, but yeah, don't need to go into that. You can see it for yourselves. Like the little sprites, adorable. Sweet. And that banner's actually out tomorrow, so very soon. I'm pretty sure it is, 17. And here, it's just the stuff about Alfred being a rearmed hero, so you can follow him once for free. Cool. And there's it going to Sharena. Which is a good choice for people who love Sharena, but I'm sure you'll have a better option. You can also spark two times, yeah, if you want to. I just wanted to skim through the art as well because it's really important to me to take a good look at that because it's something that I'm personally really excited for, just to see in Faye. So yeah, we already saw female Lear, I think she looks really great, the colours used are really nice and she looks pretty bang on and the shoes don't look too big as they have in some art. Uh, yeah, really sweet. And yeah, ready for action. The hair's already done nicely. I think they do look nicer in 2D, generally a layer with the hairs and colours and whatnot. And yeah, nice effects on the sword. And the damage diet is cute, yeah. Done tastefully, pretty nice, cool. The cape and armor's getting shredded up a bit. Alfred, yeah, I like it, as we said. Bang on, exactly what... I like him and um, Saline's kind of little... I don't know what you call them, just patterns or maybe ties, I think they're above the clothes, the little black and white um, kind of eyes that they've got going across them. I really like the design of both of them, on both of them, and his little pendant around his neck. And the designs on the back of his 
uh, cape too. I didn't even notice that before. But yeah, looks really adorable. I love the flowers on his lance too. Looks great. And got some lovely petal effects, as you'd expect, on his special art. And then yeah, just standard damaged art. Chloe, honestly, I think she's translated super nicely into Faye. Looks great. Um, and again, the highlights on her hair are brilliant. And I really like the shoes and how they look in this as well. Um, yeah, cool. And yeah, I love this. The little feathers and the different uh, colours on the little waves on the attack. All like spiralling down into the spear. Great special art. And I love that green and blue mix of colours. Honestly, my favourite. It's kind of turquoise shiny effect. Looks fantastic. Big fan of this special art. And yeah, more just standard damaged art. <laughs> bit more clothes getting torn off for Chloe. Um, and the spears being cracked a bit. But yeah, looks great. Love it. Uh, I'll leave a link, by the way, down uh, in the video if you could see all of these. Then there's uh, Celine. She looks adorable. Very cute in this original art. Um, the high heels are jokes. <laughs> And then, yeah, here's her just casting. Looks adorable as well. And then, yeah, very angry when she's using her special, ready for action. But yeah, still kind of serious and cute. Love it. Bang on. And the dress looks hilarious and great at the same time. Oh, and it's sad seeing her. <laughs> Look, her. The dress just looks hilarious in this angle. Like a solid object. So here's Art of 80. Sorry it's not as high quality, but it's because it's not actually technically been released yet. So I think it's data my stuff. You know what I mean? Like people, it's not the official kind of full res art yet. Uh, she looked good. Uh, I do like it. The colours are nice. Again, a little bit blurry, so it's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, cute. Oh, and by the way, 80 is a archer demo that you'll just be able to summon normally, being added straight to the pool, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I like that. Yeah, nice special art, just putting focus on the arrow, looks good, a little bit of spiralling as well, the blue looks nice with her other colours as well, yeah, it looks good, and pretty adorable damage art, oh, and the bowstring's actually broken there, so yeah, cute, I like it, and do like her little tiara a lot. Then Lumera is the GHB, so the Grand Hero Battle unit that you'll be able to get three copies of, and she's a free to play unit too. So yeah, exciting to get her. I will definitely be plus 10 Lumera as her design is awesome. Oh, and 80 will be obviously a bow unit, a bow infantry, and Lumera already looked great, and she will be a red sword infantry, I'm pretty sure. Love that. I love the colours on her dress. Yeah, I already loved her design and gauge, and I love it here. Looks great. I really like the sword, how it looks too. Yeah, the different kind of colours um, swirling on her dress looks amazing. And yeah, cute. Again, I like the... I just always love when they make sure to put the focus on the tip of the weapon. Um, on the special arts. Love it. And she's got some petals flying around too. She looks just very flowery in general. And there is her damaged art. Kind of looks like she's fallen back a bit. So yeah, that's all the art. All super nice. And now I'll discuss the pre-order bonus. And engage bonus. So here's some of the news of the Heroes Engage crossover bonus stuff. So if you play Heroes, then I guess if you have an account linked with your Nintendo account that you were playing Engage on, then you will get some stuff. You will get Folkvanger Weapon, Fensalir and Norton, which are Alphonse, Shirena and Anna weapons, and you will get S-Rank Bond Rings for all of them. So that will come in Engage, and weirdly, that's better than the pre-order bonus in Fae. I'm not really sure why they did that. I would imagine it would be the other way around. But you get, oh, oh my god, five orbs, guys. You get five entire orbs for purchasing Engage. That's crazy. This is really going to incentivize Fae players to buy Engage, I'm sure, for those five orbs, guys. Wow. Wow. This is what it will look like in the game. Uh, you just have to do it through Nintendo's shop and whatnot. And yay, I get five orbs, but some actual interesting stuff in Engage. I hope it isn't too OP or anything, but I guess everyone has access to it. And here it is in game. Hulkvanger, Fenslayer and Notan. And the Bond Rings for those three. Honestly, I think it's cute. And 
I think it's nice that they put all three of them in, and I guess second Anna for everyone, but it's nice to have Shirena and Alphonse in the game because they are actually really nice characters. And it's good that they're not doing any like over the top gacha stuff. It's just like, here's our characters, they're canon, and that's really it. I think it's sweet, um, not too bad. And a lot of people are like, oh, don't put gacha in our, our main line, but this isn't really that, is it? Obviously, if they step too far, issues, but this is cool and I like it. So there were a few things from the Fire Emblem JP Twitter, which was today, which I haven't posted because it's kind of a lot of images and they don't really explain it that well, apart from a little picture of Sharina there. Sharina, I mean. Um, but yeah, so that's just a tweet about that. You can get them in the game, as I discussed. This is talking about what is translated as Souls of the Dead. So some kind of soul system where previous players on the map who have died, um, maybe where the Elias died or something, um, or just anything to do with that map, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if it'll give us any information. I'm not sure if it'll give us any information about those players or whatever, but it's just like standing on those tiles from Awakening or whatever, where you get experience points, bond experience points, which is basically, I guess, support items, etc. So maybe support points too, but yeah. Little bonus tiles. Then there was this, just talking about encountering enemies on the map, and yeah you can just get experience and gold so this is nothing new we already knew about that just a little tweet about it and here's the image uh so you can see a little wolf uh knight there on the map and we know that investing uh does things to do with this and here is something about being able to see other players' choices of units, I'm pretty sure. It reads exactly, when connected to the network, players from all over the world can see which units and heraldry, which are emblems, have sorted on this map in a ranking format. So I guess it's the allies that have been picked for the map. So kind of like a better version of, you know, the whole... I they did have it in uh, Three Houses where it was like, units deployed. It's basically that, like which units were deployed, most deployed units kind of thing, but for each map specifically. Um, if a layer's not top on all of them, I'll be surprised. And if Yunaka's not second for all of them, then you'll suck. <laughs> Joking. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, sure, nice little feature. Right, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was nice to see all that art. And it's great to see Engage in Faye. Make sure, I guess, if you don't play Faye, just to install it, make an account, and then just uninstall it if you don't want to play it after Faye is a good game but it's a gacha so do what you want with that information i do play it but yeah also i know there's been information out on spoilers but i don't personally want to talk about that because the game is so close and i don't want to ruin anything for the game obviously i've posted loads of news but that's official news that's come out from nintendo and whatnot and from previews and things that they've allowed out i don't really like posting anything that is going to be spoilers about things they didn't want us to know about so please avoid talking about that in the comments as well. And I will be streaming the game when it comes out. So I'll see you guys all there. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Sparky Pixel for being a member. And have a lovely rest of your day. Ciao.